a two times World Series champion and a two times All-Star game player coming up. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Troy Rudder, and as always, I want to welcome you, TTM Nation, to TTM Autograph. This is the channel where I show you some of the autographs that have got in through the mail, or as we say, TTM, because it is completely possible for you to reach out to your favorite celebrities or sports figures through the mail <laughs> and hopefully get an autograph return. And I detail all the steps on how to do that in my book, Autograph Collecting Secrets. So if you haven't received that or gotten that yet, um, ask your friend, your neighbor, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your worst enemy to get that for you on Amazon for Christmas or your birthday, and that would really be fun. So thank you so much for joining me. I have some great autographs for you today. I got some 82 Fleer action as well as some hockey and uh, maybe even a good story or two. We'll see how that goes, but let's get right to the TTMs because this is going to be a fun episode, I think. <laughs> All right, here you go, boom. All right, first we have Wallace Johnson. He signed one of one in 33 days via his P.O. box in Indiana. You can see the address right there. Now, like I usually say every episode, but I'm just going to say it again, I try to give the addresses for you every video. I don't make a special video just of addresses. I want to give you the addresses every video as I can. And I can only do that if the addresses are on a public site like fanmail.biz or easily google -able. <laughs> and so this address is publicly available. So there you go. Now, Wallace Johnson played for the Expos, the Giants, and then the Expos again from 1981 to 1990. Now, one of his infamous things was he actually broke up the perfect game of Ron Robinson after he got a single with two outs and two strikes in the ninth inning in an infamous 1988 game. So there you go. Uh, I bet Mr. Robinson was not too happy about that. Now, he actually went to the A's in 1990, his last year, but didn't actually play in any of the games. So he then went on to be a hitting instructor in the Braves organization. So he retired in, like I said, in 1990 after joining the A's, but didn't actually play for the A's. So there is Mr. Wallace Johnson signing this 1982 Fleer Expos card. Thank you. Wallace Johnson. Next we have Rusty Kuntz. He signed one of one in 27 days via the Royals, and everybody knows the Royals address, so, but I'll put it right here. It's really easy. One Royals way, Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> he played from 1979 to 1985 for the White Sox, which is the twins that you see right here, or the White Sox, which is the car that you see right here. Sorry about that. The twins and also the Detroit Tigers, but he also coached for the Astros the Mariners, the Marlins, the Braves, the Pirates, and also the Royals, which is why he signed this via the Royals. Now, I say he was a two-times World Series champ, and that is true. The first one is in 1984 when he played for the Tigers, and the last one was in 2015 when he coached for the Royals. So he was actually on two different teams right there, one as a player and one as a coach. And one of his claims to fame is that Ned Yost actually called him the best first base coach in baseball. And before he actually, in between his playing and coaching career, he actually worked for UPS apparently. So he got your packages where they were supposed to go. <laughs> Rusty Kuntz. Next we have Clint Malarchuk. He signed two of two in 13 days. The address is actually on Star Tiger for Clint because this is not a public address on uh, fanmail.biz. So you can find it there. It's, Star Tiger is my very best source for addresses. I've been a member of that site since it was called Star Archive back in the late 90s. So he played from 1981 to 1996 for the Nordics, the Capitals, and the Buffalo Sabres. Now, he actually almost died when playing when Steve Tuttle's skate blade hit the right of his neck, the right side of his neck, which severed his cardioid artery. So that was pretty, pretty um, intense. And he, it was touch and go there for a while. It actually took 300 stitches, 
but he was actually back on the ice in 10 days. So those hockey players are tough. Uh, he went through some minor, or not minor, some major depression uh, and attempted suicide in 2008. He has talked about his OCD and his alcohol, alcoholism, his PTSD, and he's he's come out of it and he is doing well. And he wrote a book called The Crazy Game, talking about his life, um, all those incidents that I mentioned before, his near-death experience and all of that. So again, it's called The Crazy Game from Clint Malerchuk, who signed two of two in 13 days. Next, we have Dave Chalk on this Royals card. I don't know why they, they had the Royals as a yellow border back then. Go figure. Maybe they just needed, maybe they were using too much blue on other people. But he signed one of one in 49 days. You can see the address right there. This came in from Texas. Now, he played for the Angels, the Rangers, the A's, and obviously the Royals. Now, he was actually a two times All Star in 1974 and 1975 for the Angels. And then he also played on the 1974 American League All-Star team. I don't know why I have that written down twice, but there you go. He ended his career with a .252 average with 15 home runs and 243 RBIs. Mr. Dave Chalk. So anyway, guys, those are the TTMs I have in for you, including those 1982 Fleers, which I am just loving. Again, if you want to see those, I'll put a link down below to where you can see all of the 1982 Fleers that I have gotten in over the past several months. Uh, it's a pretty colorful page. It's kind of fun. And also on the website, you can look at my hockey returns. You know, some people remember when I used to do entertainment returns. You can see entertainment returns on there. But my favorite part are the baseball by set uh, areas. But you could also do by team. You do NFL by team. I haven't done NFL in a while, but I think I'm going to get back to NFL today or this year. Hopefully that'll be fun. Uh, I want to remind all you guys that I am trying to put together a viewer and YouTube signature wall. It won't be behind me because I like my backdrop and I paid uh, $300 for my backdrop. So I'm not going to do it there. But uh, I do have some other walls, obviously, in my studio, office, whatever it is. And I want to have your signature up on there. And so all you have to do is send me a three and a half or a three by five index card with a little note uh, signed by you. And or if you have a custom card or something like that, I'd really love to get that and put it on my wall. And I will be talking about those in videos. So I will be revealing those as they come in. If you don't want it actually mentioned in a video, just put put another note in there and tell me don't mention this. But if you want one of my custom autograph cards, which is me doing this goofy grin like, <laughs> you have my custom baseball card, uh, put a self-addressed stamp envelope in there and I will send you one of my signed cards as well. And I'm hoping to get some of those back soon. I just started this yesterday. So uh, obviously none have come back in, but I do have a good... Uh, wall started from people over the years. And even if you're just a viewer, that'd be awesome. And I say ju just a viewer, I didn't mean it like that. If you're just, I almost said it again. If you're a viewer, I'd like that too, because I have some people on the wall that don't do YouTube videos or Instagram and who are viewers that sent me something as well. So that's pretty darn cool. Thank you. Thank you for doing that if you're going to do that. But thank you for watching this video as well because I really enjoyed making it for you. And I am going to have more 82 Fleers and just try to get through some of my returns recently. I tried to only do four or five uh, photos or autographs per video just to keep the videos shorter. You know, if I was to do uh, a mega video, which I have done just to catch up, you know, that would be really long. And uh, I just think these shorter videos do better and uh, help keep your interest alive <laughs> a lot better. So thank you so much. If you got to the end of this video, you're a rock star. And I just want to say thanks because it's really great to be able to share these with you. So until we talk again tomorrow, because I'm doing new videos every day, may your mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. Bye-bye. <laughs>